guys, how are you guys doing? So it's me, Ronka, and I'm back. And I just wanted to ask, just wanted to answer a question that somebody had asked me regarding gel whitening trays. The question was pertaining to, because um, I was talking about how I wanted to whiten my teeth and I need to go get my whitening trays made. And then the person asked me a question about how, why I couldn't use my retainer trays because I have clear retainer trays and so the person was asking me why I couldn't use my clear retainer trays and just put the gel, the whitening gel in there to whiten my teeth. So I just wanted to clear that question up. So the reason why I am not going to use my clear retainers, these are my clear retainers right here, right here as you guys have seen. And these are the gel whitening trays to whiten your teeth. And so the person was wondering why I, I couldn't just use my retainers and just put the whitening gel in there, maybe to save money or something like that. Because um, this is what the gel whitening trays look like. They look kind of like a light if you look at it. And one thing is that your retainers should, the only thing that, <laughs> one thing I'm going to clear up is that the only thing that goes in your retainer trays that's supposed to like retain your teeth are just your teeth. Nothing else should be inside your retainers. And if you look at this too, um, this is this is the gel whitening trays right here and these are my retainers. If you look at it, they're made of two totally two different materials because this um, retainer right here, this is the one that I use, got after my braces, my retainers. You can see that it's hard and it doesn't have a lot of room but this gel whitening trays see it's very flexible like that and so they're made of two totally different components like this is made of a different material even though they're both plastic and clear they're made of two they're made of different things and another reason why I would not use my retainers as whitening gel trays is that it's so, number one, like it's so tight on my teeth that putting gel in there would not, it would just be a mess. It would just, like, the only thing that fits in my retainer is just my teeth. Like, I have no space to, put, like, put gels and put it on my teeth because it is so tight. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, these are my retainers that I got after braces. I'm going to put it on my teeth. See how tight that is? Like there's no room. It's a perfect fit for just my teeth only. See that? So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And then these are my whitening gel trays. I'm going to put it on and you're going to see that it has more room and it has more space that you know you can wiggle it around. So these are the gel whitening trays and I'm going to put it on. See that? Like, it has so much room, like, you can easily take it out and easily put it back in. Like, you know, it's not like, see that? It is so easy to take it off and on. And with that being said, you have room to put, like, gels to put on your teeth. Like that. So hopefully this, this video was helpful for you, explaining the reasons why I would not use my retainers. I was whitening trays. Hopefully that was, you know, well explained. Hopefully I got my point across as to why I would not use my retainers for whitening trays. Anyways, if you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!